Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. My baby's going to tell you what we're doing today. So today, you guys, we are doing a king crab and dungeness crab seafood boil muck bomb. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's it smells good. so good. We're going to have B Love sauce, and I made a random sauce today. Okay, you guys? So that's what we're doing. That's you ready? What we're doing. Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's get into the video. Y'all gotta excuse my, it's screws, yeah. It's, it's screws. screws. My energy level, I'm trying, y'all. Mm -hmm. Cause last night, ooh, we did a lot, y'all. We right? did a lot. And, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> Stephanie's still doing it. I can't do it two days in a row, y'all. Can't do it, I'm a once a week type person. Ooh. All right, I'm ready to get so, into this, baby. Me too. So, shit. All right, so. <laughs> We got king crab, dungeness crab for Tasha. You know, y'all know this is her favorite. We have corn, potatoes, broccoli because I love the bee love sauce with broccoli. Last time we did it, and also we have just some regular white rice. All right, damn. Mm. Tasha done finished one one corn already. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my baby right there. Set her right there. I'm gonna set her on down. Can you move your baby so I can get some rice, boo? Dungeon Scribe, is, it is really good. I like it a lot. I just, it's just not enough meat inside. It's not for me, you know? It's definitely not enough meat, but it's really good. Go ahead and take her body off, her shell. Uh -oh. dun, 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 dun. She's backwards, y'all, though. So the sauces we have today, we have Bee Love sauce. Had to do it again. Yes, we had to do it. It was so delicious last time, you guys. So we did. We both wanted be love sauce again today, so we did it. And then we weren't able to try any new viewer sauces because we didn't have enough ingredients to to do them. So I just made a random sauce with what we had. So let me tell you what's in our random sauce, guys. Here it is: butter, lime, red bell pepper, lemon pepper, parsley, garlic, jalapeno, and rosemary. Okay. Whew. My lips are running. They are? Yeah. Oh, from the jalapeno? Yeah, from the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Can't wait yeah. to get in this. But I think I want to try. I want to try B Love sauce on plain rice. You guys. So I got some mm. rice here on my plate. I missed this dungeon. There's, there's B Love on it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, my God. That's really it. This this sauce is very versatile, you guys. It's not just for seafood. Do not want to drop any seafood on the kitchen floor. I really don't. Mm. Mm. You want to taste some B love on, on rice, man? Yes. All right, here you go. Mm. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, mm, mm, it's burning. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. It's really good. Alright. I'm about to start making all my rice and be love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Woo! Alright. Somebody said they said they put it on their tacos. For real? Like like it. Seafood or like regular like ground beef? I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait to get in this. This is so good. Mm-mm. -hmm. So good. I hope y'all can see. I feel like they can't see me. I'm so short. Come on, Dungy. Look at this, you guys. Look at all that meat you get out of King Crab. It's just, it's an obnoxious amount of meat that you get out of here. Mm. You know? It really is. It is. Dungy this song. It's so good, y'all. It's good as hell. Man, I love it, man. I Can love you try it. Can babe? Okay. 
I don't know. What you're trying to be no, I do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try this with be love. Ooh. Ooh. Let me move this over so y'all can really see what's going on. We got a lot of chunks to y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I made it a little bit chunkier today. Yes. Oh my god. What? That's so damn good. Right. Shout out to B Love once again. This sauce is the bomb. It is. <laughs> Girl. You did it. You did it. Mm. Woo. You know you did it when everybody is trying mm. the sauce, okay? When everybody is like, let me go and just do B Love's. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's perfect. Yes, baby. Yes. So good. Got mm. ginger. Mm. Yes. sauce too. Okay. It's really pretty with the red. Yeah, it is. Mm. 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 Come on. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. I like that. I like that. It's a bunch of randomness y'all. I like that. Mm. Look at that y'all. You cover Stephanie's face up. Mmm. Mmm. This should be good. A whole piece of broccoli. I've been waiting to dip this shit in the B Love sauce. Right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. Mmm. 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 For y'all people that throw this piece away like our son does, don't do that. Eat that. That's the healthiest part, I think. Mm. What you can do when you're making broccoli for your kids, or if you're a kid, you can make it broccoli or whatever. Cut up into little pieces and cook it. Mm -hmm. Cook it before you cook the broccoli. Because it takes longer to cook. It gets softer. But all the a lot of nutrients are in that. Let try mm. a piece of potato with my sauce. Mm -mm. Mm. All that stuff gets on there. Huh? Mm. Loving all the chunks. Mm. The chunks. Okay, you gotta go. Mm. You got to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, baby. Thank you. You're welcome, Mama. Mm. Mm. Oh, I need shit. To open your mouth. Dutch and scrap is flying everywhere. Right. <laughs> I sure did take that off her leg, y'all. <laughs> it ain't it? Yep. Fuck. Your leg is clean. <laughs> I know where your legs been. Shit. Mm. Mm. I'm getting this dungeon, mm. baby. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Whew. Give some rice. Mm. Oh my gosh, I miss this so bad. I know, Top, can you guys believe the people who've been watching our seafood mukbangs from the beginning, that Tasha today was like, I miss the seafood mukbang, okay? Yes. She now loves it, guys. And I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I was watching somebody, I don't even know, a few people. Casey and B-Love. Yes. 
They've been doing it. Mm. I was watching more of that though, y'all. Watching Miss D. Kite. I mean, Sister D. Kite. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, shout out to Sister D. D. Kite who did a video for us that we asked the chicken and waffles. Yes. Thank you so much. That shit looked good. It looks so good. Looks I was so ready good. to jump through the screen and eat it. Right. I'm definitely going to be trying to make my wings like that. Because those seasonings sounded really good together. So I'm doing that next time. I already know something. Like that. That's sad because I wasn't even listening to the kind of seasonings. Mm. I was just watching her cook it and waiting. <laughs> waiting to see it. Mm. Mm. You okay, babe? Mm -hmm. I should be playing, y'all. Nah, this dungeon is just fire, okay? And the sauce. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I ain't got a lot to say right now. Mm -hmm. I will later, though. I mean, with this sauce, you really can just dip your finger and bite your own finger. Pretty much. Yeah. The sauce goes great with everything. <coughs> Even non-food items, okay? Yeah, right. Like fingers, toes, mm -hmm. a fork. If you run your short on cash for the month, you make the meat love sauce early in the month when you got money, right? Freeze some of it. And then just start pulling off like pieces of the wall. <laughs> lines, anything, and just pour B love sauce on it. The shit gonna be bomb. Uh -huh. That's a good ass idea, baby. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is some good shit. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's a lot of meat too. Thank you. Mm. Oh, thank you. Was it she glam? Yeah, I think I, it was I, she glam. I I told my baby to just clean, clean that it. baby out. Right. Clean it out so I can enjoy it. Whew. So if y'all ain't checked out She Glam TV, check that out. She does mug bombs too. Whew. And she has a vlog channel. Yeah, she does. I was looking at her um, when they went crabbing. Mm. That should look so fun, y'all. I wanna go. I wanna, I wanna go too. Mm. I got crab all over my fucking body. You right do? Now. Oh, I see yeah. it on your shirt. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is too good. Too good to be true. Mm. Okay. Dip my spoon in the meat love so. mm. Hopefully, I'll eat the actual food. You might. <laughs> Might you get the phone? Dip this. Mm. Like that, so? A live mukbang. Somebody asked, why does the person on the right look at the other girl all the time? Just the same reason why y'all watch this. I like watching her. Yeah, it's definitely okay. like watching live mukbang. Yeah, yeah. I like the live mukbang, okay? Yes. Mmm. 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 I just got a big, mm. nice. Meat. Whew. Mm. Mm. I kind of want some king crab. Here. Tasha wants some king crab, y'all. So, mm. what we gonna do? Here you go, babe. Gave me the toenail, y'all. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's really good. Think I don't eat this toenail? <laughs> like, you serious? She's like, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna do the best of what I got. Yep. A toenail is a toenail. How much you want? You want like this? Or you want a big? No, a small one is fine. Okay. Tasting the Dungeness. I'm sorry, King Crab. After the Dungeness, it's like, kind of like eating a cube steak and then a ribeye steak. Bitch, fuck you. Dun I mean, King is the bomb. Stop it. It's all right. King bomb. Yeah, it's nice, but what I like about king crab versus dungeon's crab is that when you eat the king crab, I mean, when you dip king crab in the sauces, you're getting more of just the sauce. With dungeon's, dungeon is so flavorful by itself Yeah. that you're getting the dungeon's plus the sauce. You know what I mean? That is true. Yeah. That is true. That's why I wanted some king crab, because so I wanted some more sauce. Anyway, here's two nice pieces here. I'm like little as hell. Thank you. Ah, you said you, you want the big one? Nah. You sure? Here's some good chunks here, too. Oh, okay. And then knuckle? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like, here you go. No man. Got that knuckle meat. See what I mean? This shit is so good, y'all. I ain't been doing no lemon. Mm -hmm. I know. No lime. So if you guys are new to our channel, we normally try some of our viewer sauces each time. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why you see people in the comments sad. <laughs> why didn't you try my sauce today? You ain't okay. tried my sauce. Yeah. We so, gonna get to it, y'all. We gonna get to it, y'all. We love y'all. Please don't be mad at us. We have so many sauces to try. Today, we just didn't have the time to go to the grocery store and get extra ingredients for sauces. So that's why we haven't tried anybody to, anybody's today. But yeah, keep keep giving it to us. All right, guys, we're gonna get into our discussion. Hopefully, we can make it, okay? Because we are really stuck today. Yeah. So we're gonna just say we are going to be debating topics from a game that we have called Master Debaters. So we both have selected some cards, and we're gonna let's talk about it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Which is the better party activity? Charades or karaoke? Karaoke for sure. Oh, okay. I see. I thought she was gonna disagree with me, so there's no debate here. Karaoke yeah. is definitely. Even though charades is probably funny as hell. Yeah, charades is fun as fuck. But I feel like I don't know. I just feel like you have more fun with the songs. Everybody, put I think their, so. The stuff they really love. Yeah, and it's yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't always get to hear all the songs we like, so then we get to be the star. Mm -hmm. Like I get to be Whitney Houston for a day. Yeah, yeah I kind of really like good. that. You guys answer it too if you want to in the comments. Karaoke or charades? Okay, which is better? A king-sized candy bar or a variety of little candy bars? Ooh. I say a variety of little candy bars. Really? I thought nah. you was going to say the big giant one of the one you love. Nah, because no. I like to just taste a whole bunch of different ones. You do? Okay, yeah, I didn't know you I like would. that. I definitely pick a variety, you guys. Yeah. I like to have a lot of choices of stuff. We know you like to have a lot of choices. Okay. okay. We know that. Anyway, go babe. Which is better? Having a photographic memory or being able to forget anything whenever you want. I'm going to have to go with photographic memory as much as I want to say forget. Mm. Because I, I feel like you could, forgetting things will help you like with your inner peace. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the photographic memory is there are so many different things you can do with it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. There's so many things you can do with that, man. Yeah. yeah, like I would be flashing all kind of numbers. Yeah. And all kind of things in my mind, you know what I'm saying? I agree. I, I mean, I don't agree, what? but I feel you. Oh, you, you think I would rather forget anything I want at any time because mm -hmm. I think I take a lot in and I feel bad and stuff. And I'll probably, I'll do forget it eventually, but it might take a couple weeks. I'd rather just forget. I'd be forgetting a whole lot of shit though, y'all. I would. You already forget. have that. <laughs> I mean, you have that better than anybody I've ever seen. I'll say that. Yeah. So, yeah, so shit, you need to get, get the photograph photograph from me. Maybe I'll take a photograph memory. I already have a forget yeah, anything whenever I want. Exactly. It'll take about two weeks, but then I'll forget you. For real. <laughs> All right. Go like ahead. though, sometimes we get into a little spats or whatever. Oh. And like we both get over stuff really fast, but she gets over stuff like a hundred times faster than me. So I'll still be a little mad. She'd be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, I don't even remember the <laughs> argument. That was just ten minutes ago. Like, right. why are you so mad about ten minutes ago? <laughs> exactly. <Hello? laughs> yeah, for real. I 
gonna get real upset, like go zero to like, hundred, not cussing upset. her out or nothing, but just go pissed off. Mm -hmm. And then literally after I'm pissed off, I've let I've released that it's energy. Done. So it's over. That's why it's good to do that though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like I do the same thing. Like I don't hold I try not to hold a lot of stuff in. Like I'll be like, I'm mad about this shit right now. Let's talk about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Stephanie likes to talk. See, I and like then, to walk away. Right. She likes to talk, I like to walk. Right. And then once we talk about it, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. So I've learned to compromise and say, you know what, motherfucker, just talk to her. And then yeah. in two minutes, y'all gonna be done. Exactly. We can be over this shit. Yeah. Both. Instead of letting it like linger for like we yeah. can let it linger for days. Oh yeah, me and Stephanie can act like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We can end our whole marriage in 30 seconds. <laughs> right, because I think we both we both do the thing where we like act like shit, just we'll, we'll drop things in a fake way, but yeah. still be bad. Yeah. So, well, how we used to handle it was we would just not talk. Mm -hmm. We both just be like, look, for three days shit straight, not one thing. Okay. Yeah, that was horrible, y'all. Yeah. Children who like to kill bugs are a perfectly normal budding psychopaths. I say they're perfectly. I would say they're perfectly normal, but then they might be budding psychopaths because why do you need to kill anything? First of all, and I don't know why you pointed at me because I don't kill but You I'm stabbed rarely... the cat with a, a spork, right? Y'all, I was six years old. You were trying to kill him, but you had the wrong weapon. I was six. That's what happened. <laughs> I was six years old. But I did not turn into a psychopath. And that right. wasn't a bug, that was a cat. That's what I was, that's even worse. It probably is. Yeah, so that's why I was gonna say perfectly normal because yeah. I feel like you're normal. I'm so. not afraid of you. But that was strange, man. That was strange. I didn't have to share that with her either. Sorry. I did, y'all. I got a spork and I poked a cat with it. Who do we have more in common with? Monkeys or mermaids? I'm gonna say monkeys. I definitely think I'll, I'll say monkeys. Why? Because I feel like there's just a lot of aspects of them that are similar to us. Like how they look, the things they do, the way they like to socialize with each other. Um, I don't know. A lot of good things. Okay. I say mermaids. Why? Because mermaids are fake just like people. Uh, Whoa. It's true. Yeah. Shit, not everybody, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to fake people. You definitely have a lot of people like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's sad. It's sad that people are like that. And I feel like we can change it. And you should because you, you're you only going to be happy when you are yourself. Exactly. When, you, when you're not pretending. Mm hmm Period. Because when you pretend, it's like you in a movie every single day of your life. You have to you have to live up to that. Yeah. And then you gotta remember all the lying shit that you done said. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's too hard. It's it's way too hard to be something else than other yourself. Yep. Than other be yourself. Than yourself. Yeah. People that's gonna like you are gonna like you and if they don't, they just fuck it up. Them. Who cares? Right. I think it's my turn, babe. It is your turn. Okay. Only dessert for every meal or only salad for every meal? I'll take the salad. My, 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 my heart wants to <laughs> take the dessert, but my mind tells me I should take the salad. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. Because you ain't going to live long with only dessert. On just dessert, nah. So you got you have to take the salad. You have to. The salad probably has protein because you can get spinach and different levels. It has protein. It has mm -hmm. probably enough nutrients. Yeah. To sustain you longer than cheesecake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, which would be scarier? If The Walking Dead were our real world? Okay. Or if Teletubbies were our real world. I don't know a lot about Teletubbies. Teletubbies. So the, the Walking Dead is just zombies, right? Yes. And what is, what is Teletubbies? It's Teletubbies like, are people that big. talk. You can't even understand what they're saying. Yeah, like, they're not, what is their whole thing? They're not people. They're Teletubbies. They're big, giant aliens. They're, they're different colors, I guess. One okay. is gay. So would I have to be a Teletubby? And so everybody's going to be a Teletubby? Uh, everybody's going to be a Teletubby except for you. <laughs> oh, damn. And then the other one is everybody's a zombie except for me? Everybody's a zombie except for, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are zombies. But everybody tells them? Everybody's a Teletubby except for you. You basically living around Teletubbies. And if you want to have a baby, your baby going to be a Teletubby too. Oh, shit. But these are Teletubbies with shark teeth. I might go with the zombies. The zombies? Yeah, because I want other humans around. Because don't they be like, I can't even communicate with them. They drive me crazy. Yeah. Like, no, I'll go with the zombies with the other humans that might be there. I'll take the Teletubbies, y'all. You would? Yeah. I don't have time for zombies. I'll take the Teletubbies and I'll take my chances with the sharp teeth on them. I feel like the humans would come together and like find a way to get to kill the zombies. At least that's my, my dream. Okay. <laughs> so this was the one that I was just like, oh my God, because this is something big for me. So, if you find the hair in your food, do you eat it anyway? Yes or no? The fa the food or the hair? Which one? I'm thinking they're talking about the food. Um, you find the hair, 
if Stephanie cooked it, yes. If I cooked it, yes. My son, I probably wouldn't eat the food if his hair was in it. Yeah, really? fast food, hell no. And nobody else's, I'm not gonna eat nobody's hair. No. It's so hard for me to eat. I don't care whose hair it is. It can be my own hair. I know. That's really hard for me, y'all. I don't know. I think it comes from my mom because she hates that. Mm -hmm. So I just got like the most disgusting thing and image in my, my mind about that. And if I find hair, I'm done. I think it has something I'm to do. I'm done, period. I, I don't even need to eat nothing else. Like, I could throw that away and hey. get something else. I wouldn't even want nothing else and I'm just disgusted. I know, she so, is. The other day we were eating and you saw some hair in your food. It's probably her own hair. I she threw so away the whole entire meal and tried to throw mine away too. Just because she was like, I don't want to watch you eating. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, I know, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I was going to say, it might be a Pisces thing because Elijah, he used to and he still does it. But I remember like, you know, the bathtub is clean, but sometimes there might be a hair in it. Oh, he, he, don't would, like not, he doesn't even want you to fill up the tub if there was a hair in it. He would make me take the water out yes. and redo. He wouldn't make me, but I did it because mm -hmm. I understood his issue. Mm -hmm. Take the water out and refill the tub. Yep. He don't care play about hair. That's not from <laughs> just him. Yeah. yeah, that's just his thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know where, why. I don't either. But he don't even like being around here. No. <laughs> I don't it's mind like, hair being it's like hair on me. Yeah. thing about me with. The liquid butter they put on movie popcorn is one, amazing, two, an abomination. Both. <laughs> uh, it's an amazing abomination? Yeah, it really is amazing. Like, I hate that you can't find that pop, that that butter anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the movies. Like, I would literally go to the movies, get the popcorn, and leave because I want movie theater, the real movie theater popcorn, the shit that they have that's microwave, that's an abomination. You okay, know, because yeah. there's nothing like movie theaters. Mm. But, yeah. I think movie theater butter is an abomination. I don't even know what it is. I think it's everybody it that works in there picks mixed with butter. Because it's so thin. It could be. And yeah, I think that's what it is. But it's really good. The flavor. Of, so. You don't think the flavor of movie theater popcorn is like to me? Really it doesn't good? even taste like anything. The, but the, it's okay. so bland. So you don't think movie theater popcorn is better than like microwave popcorn? No. Really? Really? Oh, okay. Who thinks that? Because I really do. I love movie theater popcorn. This is what I hate about movie theater popcorn. Every time you put the movie theater butter in your popcorn, your popcorn turns into little wet, shriveled up. That is true. I don't like that. But it's only a few kernels that get that. That's true. The rest of it gets the goodness. And I really love it. Still can't do it. Okay. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment. Let us know what you guys think. If you want to know more about us and our personal lives, please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. So, hit the bell. Then you're going to see our uploads. Then you can be a part of the family. And then we can get it cracking. Hey. Join us in our live streams, y'all, when we do have them, because they be lit. Yes, they do. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.